Right, folks, wait to welcome to another of the repair videos. Now, what we've got here today is a Team Transcom 8000. I've never seen one of these in the flesh. It's one of our eBay purchases, specially bought in um, to do these kind of repair videos. Very nice. That's our stock number on the bottom. So we're better start by doing something with the microphone and doing something with the power lead. Right, so we've put a microphone plug on it, which is there. We've got a proper length power lead with a fuse on it. I've opened it up. I have powered it up and to my astonishment it actually kind of works. So I'll switch it on. And select UK channel 20. I've got transmit and we've got receiver for switch the signal generator on. is there but we nevertheless need to service it actually it's as deaf as a post that's 30 microvolts you're listening to so that's pretty deaf so we'll start with the transmit like we usually do right so I've had a look at the circuit diagram of this Transcom 8000 and I've worked out a bit of a chart using the layout there. The first thing I'm going to say is the transmit frequency is set by the um, variable capacitor one, which is there. So it's on the front panel. I'll just zoom in on that. And it's the lower one there we're looking. I that could be receive. I don't know where we are yet with receive. I haven't looked into it. That is transmit. Now I'm just going to tell you what it's doing on transmit. It's 27.79129, which is fine. I have uh, adjusted this, it was um, slightly out. So that is transmit frequency. Now None of these calls have ever been touched on this radio in the lower part of the um, transmit lineup. So, looking at the first um, lineup, my soldering iron is going for a walk. Uh, we're going to start with coil 15, which is just there. So, it's just uh, got some wax in it, so we'll just deal with that. And let's see what we've got. And that's peak that. Followed by coil 17. What's you doing about three and a half watts? And that's followed by coil 20. Sorry, 21. I've got to read my own writing. 21's against the screenplay there. Yep, it's a bit more wax uh, melting. I don't expect these are out at all, you know, with it being still sealed like this. But just to show you for the demonstration, then I'm going to move over to the green tool, the hexagonal one, and we'll go on to number 15.
and then we'll go on to number 13. And there we have that peaked. Now we've also got the transmitter power adjustment, which is VR468 or 469, it looks like, on the circuit. And that brings us just a, a shade under the 4 watts. Just in case that was off camera, the power set was that one there. Just zoom out, make things a bit easier for you. Right. So let's look at deviation. So we're going we're on channel 20. I know this is an 80 channel set, but our customers are interested in the UK 40 channels. So we optimise them on channel 20 of that. The CPT band will not get used. Uh, where we are, it's of no use. So um, we'll just set that. Going to transmit. Getting anything. About point seven. Just give it the whistle test. It's about one point seven. So deviation on this radio is just this to five twenty one. Five twenty one is that one there so we'll just um, set that with the whistle test and then try it with the oscillator <whistles> wall of <whistles> there we go it's 2.2 about 2 with the oscillator so that's your deviation now because it's got a bar graph display it has a transmit meter and the level is VR7 for that and VR7 is that preset there the yellow one so let's go into transmit we know it's doing just under 4 watts we'll key up I think it's fair to set it like that so we're not quite on the last bar you know it's only a telltale isn't it it's not accurate or it's not supposed to be so there we go. So that's covered the transmit side of the team Transcom 8000. Now the receive is quite interesting and we're going to be setting off by setting the 10.24. So I'll see you on the receive side of the video for quite a longer take. Thanks for watching.